Welcome to Ablaze. This is Rhapsody of Realities Online. And I am Lady Lou. I am sitting with Brother Caesar Twala. Good afternoon, good evening, and good morning to everybody. It is indeed an honor to be with you today as we take today's Rhapsody, which is Monday the 29th. And Pastor's message is Jesus, Lord, and God. Amen. That, just that uh, heading, Jesus, powerful. is so powerful. And the scripture reading is taken from 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. And it reads as follows. He, God, was made visible in human flesh, justified and vindicated in the Holy Spirit, was seen by angels, preached among the nations, believed on in the world, and taken up in glory. Our opening verse leaves no doubt about who Jesus is. He is God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just those words, Sister Lou, bring life to you. Jesus Christ is the Lord. Hallelujah. Made visible in human flesh, justified and vindicated in the spirit. Seen by angels, preached among the nations, believed, in all, believed on in the world and taken up in glory. Hallelujah. You know, just with this first verse, with this first passage, it reminds me of what we went through in 2022 when they tried to shut um, the churches down. We went online and we made it known to the world that Jesus is God. Hallelujah. It brings to mind the story of the hastily prearranged persecution of Jesus in Mark 14, verse 60 to 63. The high priests conspired with the Jewish council to find some evidence against Jesus, but by, by which they, they could sentence him to death, but they couldn't find any. Then they asked Jesus, Art thou the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? The Master's response was un unambiguous and unequivocal. He said, I am, and he shall see the Son of man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. For this they condemned him to death and took him away because he declared himself to be God <clears throat> in human flesh. But that's who he is. To say Jesus is the Son of God means he is God in human flesh. Hallelujah. So when you read this, what, what comes to your mind, uh, Sister Lou? He so, is God in human flesh. He is God in human flesh. Yes, uh, and you know what? Uh, being a child of God, we are so privileged that uh, the Bible says, as he is, Amen. so are we into this world. Hallelujah. So the Bible does it and said it clear that we have put on Christ. Amen. So we are one with Christ. As Christ was, is one with God, so are we. So we are the family. We belong to the royal priesthood. You know? Just like this line says right now, God came to us in human body. Like Sister Lou just said, we are one with God. As he is, so are we. That was what he was crucified for. No wonder Paul said, the fullness of the Godhead, that is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the totality of thy, hey, it's whole. The totality of deity is tabernacled in Jesus. That's Colossians chapter 1 verse 19. When you stand before the throne of God, you aren't going to be seeing some blinding light as the Father and then the Lord Jesus standing beside him on the throne. Neither will you see the Holy Spirit like a bird on top of the throne. No, Jesus is on the throne and the Father is in him. He is the complete embodiment of the deity. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So right now we're going to take the prayer together. Please say this prayer after me. Blessed Lord Jesus. Blessed Lord Jesus. You are God who appeared in human form. You are God who appeared in human form. Believed on in the world. Believed on in the world. Taken up to heaven. Taken up to heaven. How excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name in all the earth. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. You are the complete embodiment of deity. You are the complete embodiment of deity. I worship you for who you are. I worship you for you, who you are. And thank you for everything. I, pardon me. And thank you for revealing yourself to your church. 
And thank you for revealing yourself to your church. Your glory is everlasting. Amen. Your glory is everlasting. Amen. Right. That is so profound, uh, Brother Caesar. So I'll quickly take the further reading study for us. Uh, that's in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 30 to 33. And it reads that. So I'm going to take in the King James Version. Then the Jew took up the stone again and stoned him. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you for my father. For which of those works do ye stone me? The Jews answered him, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, because they that being a man makest thyself God. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord. So the, they didn't know that Jesus and God was one. Amen. Jesus was the Son of God. Amen. They thought he was just blasphemy. So we are grateful for the privilege to know who we are in Christ because we know Christ and God, they are one. And Christ is in us. So we are one big family, like I said earlier on. Royalty of the Melchizedek. Amen. So if you would like to be part of this family, you just follow our Lady Lou in this prayer of salvation as she leads you to Christ. So I'll take the prayer of salvation if you're not born again, if uh, you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, this is the opportunity. It's open for everyone. After saying this prayer, your life will never be the same. You are born again and you will be a new creature in Christ Jesus. And you are joining the family of Christ. You'll be a Christian. So you can say after me, Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him, and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. If you have taken that prayer with me, welcome to the family of Jesus Christ. You are now born again. All things are passed away. Now, the new beginning of life in Christ has begun your journey in Christian work. So thank you so much and join us for the next episode. Until next time, stay, stay ablaze in the world. world.